Well, we're outside Channel 5, new studio. How you feel, Pete? Ready to go. Ready to go? Yep. Are you nervous? A little nervous, but I always get that way. Okay, we're about to walk in. Check back with you guys soon. Okay, here's the walking up the news channel five right now. One in the entrance. Going Main right doors. Pete's got the mannequins. I got the shirts. <laughs> okay, we gotta go in and get checked in. Okay, now we're in the waiting room. Waiting for Kay to call us up. And hopefully one day, we'll be on this show. Okay, here's an update. We just got done meeting Kay Quinn. She's a super nice lady. We're about to get on air here at, at four o'clock. We've been watching Ellen in the meantime. So things are going great and we can't wait to show you guys how the interview goes. Keep you posted. It's inside the studio. See, I'm watching that one. He's doing well. We're, we're happy to report every three months he does an MRI and as long as the scans stay clean, he's okay. So everything's upbeat, we're positive, we're doing good. Okay, but your father's diagnosis really inspired you. And it inspired you to create something called Fight the Fight. You are wearing a t-shirt right now. We have a couple of them here on the set as well. Tell me what it's all about. Fight the Fight is a clothing line that's 50-50. Donate 50% of all the profits to people who get large unexpected medical expenses. It doesn't have to be cancer, it can be any serious medical condition. We donate to a different person every two weeks and we always try to give them a thousand dollars a week. They write in to us, um, either the person themselves or a family member or a friend, and they send in their survivor story of everything that they're going through. We put that story up on our website so that whenever you buy a shirt or a hat, you can see where the money's going. What did you really learn from your experience with your dad? This really can happen to anyone you know, but personally, what was it? You never think it's going to happen to you until it does, and I think I just did what any son would do, and that's anything and everything that I can to help. And luckily, I have a background in business, and I was able to, to start fighting the fight. What kind of reaction are you getting from them? Very positive. They've been hugely supportive of me. It took all of them to get me standing here to help me get on, and Fight the Fight would not be what it is without our community and our customers that we have. Okay, so tell me about Carrie Franklin, because right now, half of all your profits are going to her. Right. Every person gets 14 days in the clock. Carrie's on the clock right now. Um, like most of the other people we donate to, she does have cancer. She's battling it, and she's doing well right now. We're happy to report, and we just want to try to... Uh, Create the best products we can, sell as most as much as we can to donate as much as we can to her. Okay, all right. Well, we want to wish you all the best in the future. We're going to have a link to your Facebook page. You do have a website where people contact you on the Facebook page. That's where you can find out more about the t-shirts, more about supporting Fight the Fight, and maybe even getting help for some of you may know. This is Liz next to the autographed picture of Ellen. 
at the KSDK Studios. Yeah, we'd like to get on your show next. <laughs>